this is standard for science let's move to chapter 4 adaptation in animals we will see here adaptation in animals need for adaptation in animals adaptations to different habitats adaptation to food care and concern for animals first thing what is habitat the surroundings or the environment in which an animal or a plant live is called its habitat a habitat is a natural home of a living thing it provides the living thing food water and the right kind of environment to live grow and multiply adaptation in animals what is adaptation different habitats have different living conditions and the animals they have different types of features that helps to modify itself in some way to survive better in its environment is called adaptation need for adaptation in animals the natural environment of earth changes slowly with time animals also need to gradually change their features and behavior to survive and to make themselves suited to the environment adaptation helps an animal to get food keep safe and protect itself from the harsh weather conditions for example polar bears have thick coats of fur on their bodies which keep them warm snakes have scales on their bodies which help them to grow then adaptation to different habitat the first one is terrestrial animals animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals terrestrial animals walk long distances on their strong legs they breathe through their lungs their sense organs and nervous system are very well developed so they can easily sense any change around them elephant rat lion giraffe tiger man and cow are some terrestrial animals different terrestrial animals have different adaptations according to the environment the first one desert animals have a thick skin that protects them from heat camel has broad padded feet that help it to walk easily on the sand it has thick eyelashes to protect its eyes from the sun and blowing desert sand it stores fat in its humps this fat is used when it doesn't find food and water some other desert animals like desert fox and desert hare have large ears to give off heat all these are special adaptations for desert life same way here few all other examples are given like animals like lions and tigers have sharp teeth and claws which help them in tearing flesh they have strong legs and can run fast to catch their prey a giraffe has a long neck to reach up to the leaves of tall trees and elephant also does this with its trunk means different animals lives in different places some uh, dif- uh, lives in desert some lives in mountain some lives in water some lives in cold places but their habitat is different and when they survive themselves in their habitat that's known as adaptation uh, more uh, examples are there uh, let's see what is hibernation as you know some animals uh, become inactive and going into a kind of deep sleep during the winter season to protect themselves from cold and to conserve energy when sufficient food unavailable this is called a hibernation for example snakes bears lizards and ground squirrels then come to estivation some animals like snails and lizards sleep during the hot hours of day time to protect themselves from heat this is called estivation then come to migration you might have heard in winter many birds they come to chilika uh, that's uh, changes the place 
uh, from uh, the cold weather or from uh, winter heavy uh, cold places they change their places and they migrate uh, go to another place uh, to give birth of their babies and they survive themselves in that cold winter then after finish of that season again they go back to their own places that's known as migration uh, some animals move to another place in large numbers when there is a harsh climate and so, uh, scarcity of food. The large scale movement of animals to escape extreme climatic conditions and in search of food is called migration. Arctic terns migrate from Arctic to the Antarctic. Salmons migrate thousands of miles to lay eggs. Then you come to camouflage. Uh, some animals like chameleon and stick insect have ability to blend with the color of their surroundings to shape themselves from their enemies. This is called camouflage. Means they change their color according to their surroundings to save themselves from their enemies. This is known as camouflage. This makes it difficult for a predator to a predator to spot them. Then you come to next phase. Um, Porcupines have sharp spines to protect themselves from enemies. So these all are the uh, different types of adaptations according to their habitat. Then come to aquatic animals. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. For example, fish, turtle, crab, etc. Uh, should here show many uh, uh, means uh, aquatic animals figures are given fish, dolphin, duck, turtle uh, they swim in the water uh, with their different types of uh, swimming uh, parts of their body and turtles have flippers which help them to swim fish have fins which help them to swim so they use their different types of body parts to swim in the water and they live in the water they are known as aquatic animals. They have organs like called gills, fish, fishes have to breathe. Some fishes have swim bladders that have uh, that help them to float at different depths of water. Then come to amphibians, salamander, frog, toad, these all are known as amphibians. Both live on land and in water. They are known as amphibians. Then come to aerial animals. Animals that can fly are called aerial animals. As you know, so many birds are given. Parrot, eagle, housefly, bat, sparrow. They fly in air and aerial animals fly with the help of their wings. Uh, they spend a lot of time flying in the air. Even insects such as dragonfly, housefly, wasp, honeybee, etc. to fly with their wings. Some birds such as kiwi and ostrich cannot fly. They are called fly flightless birds. These birds have strong legs and can run very fast. Then come to arboreal animals. Mostly live on trees. Maximum time they live on trees. Monkey, squirrel, uh, these all are arboreal animals. Monkeys have long arms and legs to jump from branch to branch. They are they use their long tails for gripping and balancing. Next, move to a squirrel has strong limbs and sharp claws to help it climb trees and branches. Adaptations to food. Uh, animals are plant eating or flesh eating. Uh, herbivorous, carnivorous, omnivorous. They are classified. Those eat uh, plant eating animals are known as herbivorous. For example, horse, cow, goat, elephant. Their front teeth are well adapted to break up parts of plants. Similarly, their back teeth are good for grinding up the plant matter. Come to carnivorous. Flesh eating animals are called carnivorous, like eagle, tiger, lion, snake. They have sharp front teeth to tear the flesh of other animals. Uh, then come to omnivorous. Animals that eat plants as well as flesh of other animals are called omnivorous, bear, duck, crow, even we all are, means man. 
दे हैव सर कटिंग टीथ एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग ग्राइंडिंग टीथ ओमनीवरस बर्ड सर्चे जोट पेकर एंड क्रो हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग बीक्स एंड क्लोज केयर एंड कंसर्न फॉर एनिमल्स एज यू नो वी शुड टेक केयर ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड वी मस्ट कंसर्न अबाउट दे एनिमल्स प्ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन आर लाइफ एनिमल्स एंड बर्ड्स हेल्प इन द स्प्रेड ऑफ सीड्स टू डिस्टेंट प्लेसेस विच देन जर्मिनेट इन टू न्यू प्लांट्स दस दे कंट्रीब्यूट टू द ग्रोथ ऑफ प्लांट स्पेशज ऑन आर हरविवर एनिमल इट प्लांट्स एंड कैनिफेरस फीड ऑन फ्लेस ऑफ अदर एनिमल्स दस दे ब्रिंग बैलेंस इन नेचर बाय देयर फूड हैबिट्स सम एनिमल्स लाइक वल्चर्स एंड क्रोस फीड ऑन द डेड एनिमल्स एंड क्लीन ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट दिस ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन मेंटेनिंग द बैलेंस इन नेचर एंड कीपिंग द एनवायरमेंट हेल्थी Following steps can be adopted to protect the animals. Few are ready. Avoiding cutting trees as much as possible. Animals should not be killed or captured for sports and uh, other uh, recreational activities. Few uh, more are there. You have to read. Then uh, provide them sufficient food and water. Provide them. Uh, a comfortable and clean living condition maintain their health and hygiene be kind to all animals thank you